Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Simply Connect Virtual Airlines. Welcome back to X Plane 11 and welcome to the beautiful whale of the sky, the Beluga from INI Builds. So the A300 uh, 600 ST. So yeah, we're going to be doing a short flight. With today, we're here in Prague. Uh, this is actually one of my favourite airports. We're on Vatsim. If anyone wants to fly along with us, you're more than welcome. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the Trover designs from INI Builds as well. Their their airport. Uh, this airport is absolutely stunning. Uh, I do love Prague Airport. I've flown in and out of here a few times as well. Uh, it's real, real nice. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be flying from here and we're going up to Brussels. Uh, so why, the reason why we chose the Beluga is the Beluga has actually had a repaint. As you can see, it's now got the classic new Simply Connect airline design. Uh, and we uh, we put up the global logistics on the side, the new logo. And we decided to give the whale a face thanks to Iron Beast. I told him don't do it. He did it and it actually looked really, really nice. I'm really happy of how it came out. Uh, so, you know... Trust in beast. That's that's one thing we've learned from today. So yeah, so look, uh, we're going to be delivering this helicopter across to Brussels uh, on a nice little cargo trip. We do have some other people flying with us tonight, and I'm going to be very honest. Uh, Ryan E is flying with us on Vatsim. Uh, he said he's going to be a BA, so I'm not sure if he's loaded in yet or not. I'm not sure. And we have around here. I assume that this is. Uh, Anthony, I assume that this is you. You're quite far away from me, but I'm over at the cargo end. But yeah, this airport, look, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely, lovely work that they've done on this airport. And uh, I love flying in and out of Prague. It's a great place to fly in and out of. Lots... Beautiful. Okay, let's go back to our aircraft anyways. Hello to everyone that is in the stream. It's very quiet at the moment. No one likes the Beluga. I don't know what's going on here. Adrian Martinez, good evening. Uh, David Finney, nice paint job on the Beluga. Yeah, it's a beautiful upgrade now from our last repaint. It's, and uh, it's absolutely stunning. Commander Fox, good evening. I see that you're up in the air tonight. Francesco, hello mate. Chris Shields, hello, hello. Uh, just having a quick look on the VA. So, so there are some people flying offline. We've got Big G doing his first flight for the VA. Uh, he's, uh, yep. Yeah. He is boarding still. Okay, he hasn't taken off. Uh, we got Chabs. Chabs has already pushed back in, uh, so he he's trying to get out of here. Uh, Bravia F is somewhere. Is it, where is C Y Y Z? I don't even know what that is, but apparently he's pushed back in anyways. Uh, we have Steven, of course. He is already en route. He's just taken off, and, and then myself. I do believe uh, there might be one or two others that might come and join in. Uh, quite a few people were quite busy today, unfortunately. Um, but you know these things happen. It's okay. Who else is here? Ryan E, you've loaded in. What is your call sign, Ryan? We've got two of us. I'm over here. And uh, 2169 is Anthony. Glenn Bixley, good morning. I can't wait to see your stream later because that game <laughs> is not ready for release. So that's going to be fun. Um, who are you loaded in as? Are you the BA here? 8B4, is it? Or 884? 884. Let me know if that's you. Okay, let's get into the ops then because we've got quite a bit to do here uh, on the old Beluga. So if we go into the loader, let's start loading. Uh, we can, I suppose we can watch a little bit of that very quickly. Uh, and then we're going to go back. Uh, we're going to go back here again. We need to do our load sheet for today. So very quickly, uh, we are taking the helicopter. Uh, zero fuel weight for today. It's already put us in. Fuel on board for today's flight needs to be 15.1. So we might as well go 15.2. And press enter uh, load fuel and payload and in the meantime let's go on the outside here very quickly as we watch the helicopter go in flight time today should be about one hour 15 minutes around about that time hey that is you a84 that's good yeah I'm just over here then and Anthony's the furthest away okay so here we go Ryan is over here I wish the one thing I and I would do is put more cargoes for this. I know we've got a few. Now, I have asked Iron Beast, can he make some? And he will eventually, but we've got quite a bit to do with repaint still and bits and pieces with other games that we're playing. But, uh, yeah, definitely needs a few more cargoes to make it a little bit more interesting, even if it is just, like, a huge shipment of something, you know? I'm surprised not more people have made any. I, I think people really don't like the Beluga because of the shape and stuff. But I think it's a great aircraft. It was a great price last week on sale as well. Highly recommend it to anybody. Okay, so fuel on board. We're going to send, uh, we've loaded it. So we're going to send that to take off performance. Uh, okay, we need to go up above before we go any further. Okay, battery one, battery two, battery three are going to go on. We're going to head over to external power. 
Okay, from external power, we're going to go up above. We're going to align the ideas. Okay. They're inoperative. I haven't flown this in a little while. Uh, all this stuff we don't need to touch just yet. If we want to put some brightness lights on or anything like that, here's your chance. Make it a bit brighter in here, I suppose. Okay, pitch trim can go on. Your dampener can go on. They might go back off in a second. Atis can go on. Uh, we are going to throw on our beacon because we are loading in. Uh, we will throw our nav lights on as well so they know that we're doing. Uh, we're going to turn on our fuel pumps. There's no rush for this, but we'll just turn them on anyways. You can see we've got the fuel already on board. But that doesn't calculate the right amount of fuel, so hopefully they're still loading the fuel. Probe heats can come on. Window heats can come on. Uh, low pressure supply can come on. And uh, emergency lights can uh, now be armed as well. This stuff is okay for the minute. All is good. All is good, I, I believe. Okay, we can put the APU master switch on, even though we're not going to do anything with it yet. Uh, the master switch can go on. We can throw the gens on as well. Why not? And the galley. I think it's all okay. Like I said, it's been a little while. A bit concerned why our fuel hasn't loaded on here. Hang on. Uh, let's go back to load sheet. Why did I put 12.2? It should be 15.2. There you go. That's half our problem. Well, there we go. paint job does look nice it does I, I i do like it myself uh well thanks for the heads up it's less likely to make me swear knowing i need to hold my tongue <laughs> brett, brett maxwell good e good morning good evening good morning uh beast went beast mode he did he, he went he went he went he went he went rogue you know he went rogue i told him don't put the eyes on i think it's a bit tacky he put the eyes on and i love it <laughs> uh is there going to be an a330 there will be eventually there will be the, the list is pretty big beast does a lot of work for us he's also modern trucks he's doing all kinds of stuff so do bear with him we normally get one or two liveries a week and uh, we're getting there we're getting there okay it is on the list most people are flying an x-plane that's half the problem okay so uh we can um i think we can just load up our flight plan first before we do anything else so we need to come down to our fmc thing here to make sure that this is all on we could put some overhead lighting on i suppose there we go. Brighten up a little bit. Okay, so if we go to the menu, uh, we can request the company route. It should flash. There we go. And I'm also going to request the wind data. I don't think it flashes. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to go back up to our seat. Where's our radio panels? Radios, radios. I've never flown on VATSIM in this. This is going to be interesting. Where's my radio? It's going to be somewhere. In front of me, obviously. Okay, we can align the IRS while we're here anyways. There we go. That's going to do what it needs to do. Let's move this up. I think my radio is done by actually, um, believe it or not, it's done on here. I've just been absolutely stupid. Okay, so we can now go back to the uh, main menu. All their main operatives. I'm very surprised. Why is this not going back? Oh, there you go. Tune page. Okay, com one. So we do need to um, throw in our next one. So the first one will be clearance and delivery. Uh, we're at 120. Okay. One, two, zero point zero five zero. Okay. Hopefully that's all on. Is 
they near anyone at the moment, but hopefully it all is on. Clear the master caution down here. Let's have a look at the cargo door. Okay, cargo's on board, so what we can actually do here... Uh, well, first of all, LKPR. Uh, ATIS request. I'm not going to let me do Complete that yet. Complete 2169, can anybody hear me? Complete 2169, delivery, hello, 325. There you go. All good. Okay, ground ops, not the load sheet. Ground services, uh, we can now pull the loader out. There we go. And we can now get our own clearance as well. Uh, now I just need to check the ATIS, make sure it's still Lima. It's now information Mike. Of course. Hello, uh, need clearance for a trip to EBBR 767-300. Need IFR clearance. Ripley 2165, hello, this is delivery information Mike, QNH 9903, time 3-1, cleared to Brussels, bulk for Alpha departure, climb initially altitude 5,000 feet, squawk 1,000. I mean, is that unloading or what? Slowly but surely, I think it is. Prague delivery, good evening. Simply 7742 request IFR clearance to Brussels. Information Mike stand Echo 4 in the Bluger A300 600ST. Uh, heavy. Two stations, but uh, simply 7742 delivery, good evening. Information Mike, correct. QNH 9903, time 32, cleared to Brussels. Bout for Alpha departure. Initially altitude 5,000 feet, squawk 1425. Uh, clear to Brussels via the uh, Balfour Alpha, uh, climb to 5,000 and squawk uh, 1425, simply 7742. Simply 7742, repack correct, start up approved, for pushback, contact to Ruzini ground, frequency 121, decimal 9, right, goodbye. Contact ground at 121.9, one uh, good night. Okay, so the loader is disappearing. Okay, so we are going to be taking off on runway 24 by the looks of things. Uh, ATIS request. Which frequency? The first. Station calling delivery. Uh, Anthony, you need to be at 120.050 for clearance. Uh, delivery is 121.9. One uh, after that, is uh, tower 134 decimal 550 and then you're gonna have approach at 127 decimal 575 okay I've got the ATIS stuff here now uh, Q and H is all correct so look let's compute this okay uh, we're gonna send data to FMS we're also gonna send data to the card we're gonna go to our FMS quickly here again it does pop out. That's good. I wasn't sure if it popped out. Uh, everything is actually in here, which is quite nice. Okay, just going to that next page. I wasn't sure did it do my zero fuel weights or not for me. Obviously, it does not. Uh, Anton is like stream. Thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. Okay, so uh, pff, what, where are we at then? So three delivery speedbird eight eight four stand three alpha aircraft type. A320 request IFR clearance to Brussels with information Mike. Speed bus 884, delivery good evening. Mike, correct, carriage 9903, time 34, cleared to Brussels. 
Why is it not liking my uh, one, three, four? Point nine. One 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 point zero. There we go. Uh, finally got it sorted. The repaint worked out outside, but in the copy, everything was white. I just gone with the default. Okay, mate. Uh, interesting. I'll check that out. Maybe the last update might have broken the repaints again. So I need I need to have a good look. I'll have a look. Okay. So flight plan for us today then. Uh, our Sid would be. We're going from 2-4, we're looking for the Bolt for Alpha, here it is. Uh, that's all good, let's go on our return, return. I think that's all correct, there's my sim brief. Bolter to Bolt 2, yeah, I'd say that's all correct. Um, okay, takeoff, we're not going to look at that at the moment flight plan okay let's get rid of you I don't think that's going to change anything Okay, we're going to be flexing to 54. So let's just go to our plan. Let's just get that range out with Lich. We're literally going straight out by the looks of it. Okay, that's all good. Let's just get some of these brightnesses up. They're all up. Okay, we're going to start the APU here. Everything else should have come aligned. We're being cleared to 5,000. Uh, our speed, what was our takeoff speed? Just need to have a quick look at these cards. Okay, so flaps 15, zero, flexing to 54. Uh, v rotation at 164 plus 10, 174. So what you do with this one, so we put our press 10 in, uh, plus 10 in, so 174. Ugh. I click it once, it's going to preset, and then I should be able to then pick my climbing speed, which would be at 240. I'm pretty much good to get up after this nearly now. Uh, heading select is fine at the moment. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we are going to be uh, flex temping. So we're going to be flexing to 56 as requested. Uh, that is all we need for that moment here. Q and H, I don't think has been set for us. Nope. Okay. 
Okay, so 0, 9, and 9, and 3. That's our Q and H where we currently are standing. Uh, that's all good, all good, all good. Okay, if we go up above then, so the APU is now available. We will throw on that bleed now. And the APU is now in. External power can now go off. And we can now start getting rid of some of this stuff from the uh, EFB. Ground ops, ground services. Okay, so external power can go. Fuel truck can now disappear. So can the, we will call our pushback. Uh, let's pre-plant. And imagine he wants us to face this way, right? All right, Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. Now I just need my next frequency, which will be uh, one to one decimal nine. Is the Simply Connect website broken? It, it, it's, it's had a few issues today. Uh, Andy's on it, mate. Andy is on it. Prague Ground, good evening. Simply 7742 at stand, Echo 4, requestion uh, pushback and engine start. Simply 7742, uh, good evening. Cruising ground, push and start approved. Okay, push and start approved. How's our pushback truck looking? Is he here yet? No. Cruising the ground, news, Captain. Good evening, Captain. Papa, Kilo Kilo Alpha at holding point, Charlie. Papa, kill, kill, alpha, good evening, to the ground, Richard, taxi, via Lima, Quebec, uh, Sierra 5, uh, holder of uh, Golf. Hey, taxi via Lima, Quebec, Sierra 5, to go and on. control shot before Golf, Sierra Papa, kill, kill, alpha. Thank you, mate. All is looking good here, so we are going to turn engine on to A. We're waiting for our pushback tug. It should be underneath us now. Prog ground. Good evening, speedbird 884. At stand 3 out. All right. Taxi. Looks like the doors and hatches are closed. And we're ready speedbird to connect. Speedbird 884. Good evening, Cruise Link. Ground. Taxi. Ground 824. Well, hotel. Cruise uh, Alpha 1 Alpha. Taxi to runway 24 via Hotel Alpha 1 Alpha, Speedbird 884. Speedbird 884 negative via Alpha 1 Alpha. Alpha 1 Alpha, Speedbird 884. I said Alpha, Pack, Kilo, Kilo, Alpha, continue taxi. Continue taxi, said Alpha, Pack, Kilo, Kilo, Alpha. Okay, our next frequency should be one, three, four, decimal. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toast connected, bypass pens inserted. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Parking brake kill. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. Okay, we're going to start engine two. We need the uh, N2 to reach about 20. Okay, fuel into engine two. I'm going to put my vertical speed on 2.2 uh, as well for the flight director as we go up. A lot of this is quite manual. These guys are so confusing. How come? You've got all of them on, so you've got clearance, ground, we got the full, full shebang today. Out, anyways. Okay. 
we can now start engine number one. We're just going to wait for that end to rise. Has there been another update for Microsoft recently or have I just read something wrong? There was an update not long ago and I think it might have broken the repaints a little bit. I need to check them. Who needs Microsoft when you have a Beluga? <laughs> but yeah, there, there's a good chance there. Um, the, the last update might have broken my repaints. I need to. I need to go have a look again. Okay, Ryan's already getting off and going. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Parking brake set. We're now going to set our flaps and we're just to 15. The toe. Give me just a moment. Let's arm our speed brake for takeoff. Uh, because we're in the Airbus, we can also set our auto brake to maximum. Uh, both engines are now on, so we are going to turn the ignition off. Everything is running fine. Uh, we can also turn off our APU bleed. It's going to go onto the engines now, and we're going to turn off the APU master switch. Well, we just had the paint upgraded, uh, Brett. Look at that. The paint has just been upgraded to the new paint scheme, and it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And we're disconnected. Stick one pin on the right, take it easy, and have a safe flight. Uh, simply 7742, ready for taxi to runway uh, 24. Simply 7742, taxi to runway 24, runway Azul, I contact the runway 24, that's on 550, have a nice flight, bye bye. Taxi to runway 24 via Zulu, uh, contact tower 134 decimal 550, good night. Good night. Okay. Speedbird 884, holding point Alpha, runway 24. Speedbird 884, hello, Rosnet Tower, uh, ready for immediate departure. Uh, Speedbird 884, ready. Speedbird 884, line up and clear for takeoff, runway 24, wind 230 degrees, 20 knots. Line up, clear for takeoff, runway 24, Speedbird 884. Um, Canadian Express 300, minimum approach speed. Approach minimum approach speed, Canadian 300. Speedbird 884, expect. Roger, Speedbird 884. Okay, just want to move some lights up to the taxi. Uh, wing lights, no. Where are we at? Just taxi lights are on. Runway turn and lights on for the shortest taxi you'll ever see. Prague Tower, good evening, simply uh, 7742 taxi into Holden Point, Zulu at runway 24. Simply 7742, hello, Rosnet Tower, stop at Holding Point. Stop at Holding Point, simply 7742. Canadian Express 300, runway 24, clear to land, wind 230 degrees, 20 knots. Clear to land, runway, uh, can you just Speedbird 884, contact our Praha Radar 127.575. Contact our 127.575, Speedbird 884. Must be another button for my Speedbird 884, so there's two people speaking. Can you just repeat the frequency, please? One two seven decimal five seven five. One two seven decimal five seven five. Speedbird eight eight four. Simply seven seven four two. Ready for departure.
Uh, ready for departure, Symphony 7742. Simply 7742, line up runway 24, be ready. Simply 7742, line up runway 24, and be ready for departure, please. Be ready for departure, line up and wait, Symphony 7742. Okay, so for some reason it went into reverse thrust. Um, interesting. Rosetta, very good evening. Scatter for the Macello with you. Establish runway 24. Scatter for the Macello, Rosetta, very good evening. Continue approach. One departure, Rosetta, very good evening. Scatter for the Macello, 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 Rosetta, very good evening. Simply 7742, runway 24, plate for takeoff, wind 230 degrees, 20 knots. Lift takeoff, simply 7742. Okay, so we got a clearance, so we're going to start moving. Canadian Express 300, contact with the ground to 121, that's my line, rescue, channel, solution. Ground 121, that's my line, Canadian Express 300. Okay, okay. Okay, I don't know why it's not doing the auto throttles. Interesting. Okay, gear up. We are on the runway 24, scatter for the Macello. Okay, we're going to put the mode into climb. Wow, my X-Plane is running like a bag of nails again. Don't know, I don't know what it is. Anyways, flaps up. Hey mate, forgot about tonight. I'll fly EBBR from Tallinn. No worries, mate. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a bit concerned about why my thing wasn't working very well there. Anyways, let's move on to the next frequency. Uh, one. Control for Lima Kilo, Vijete v Praze, call ground 121, decimal liner, naslyšenou. 121, decimal liner, naslyšenou, skater for Lima Kilo. A díky. Ustanka 108, runway 24, clear to land, wind 230 degrees, 20 knots. Runway 24, clear to land, Lufthansa 108. Having a nightmare cockpit locked up with cameras. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I'm having my own problems. I don't know why my X plane, it just won't run over 20 frames anymore. I don't understand why. Hi, simply 2169. Simply 2169. Yes, you said to call you on this frequency. Negative, sir. Uh, you were on the delivery. They give you clearance to your flight and squawk code that you don't have set now. So switch back to one two zero decimal zero five zero and watch carefully what he will told you because you all also make pushback without clearance. 
sir, he's not answering me, so that's why I'm pushing back. I don't know why he's not answering me. He told you the clearance, but you did not respond back, so you should you should respond to his voice. Just try to say hi to him if he uh, can hear you. And if you hear him, then listen carefully what he's saying. And if he give you clearance, then you have to read back the clearance, set your aircraft for departure, and then contact our controller. I understand how it works. I've done this before. I just want to, um, I want an answer. Okay. Okay, sir. So so try I'll another frequency, one, two, which one, will be point. one two one. That's minor. That's the ground controller. One two one. That's minor. Thank you. Okay, one two. Simply two one six nine. Can you hear me? Simply two one six nine. Who are you calling? Simply 2169, confirm you are calling Tower. One two seven. I don't I don't know what's wrong. What frequency? There's something that must be wrong with my system. Uh try frequency one two one that's small nine. My information descends to flight level one hundred to expedite. Descending to flight level 100 expedite. John Lambert, good evening. American Man 718, descent 4000 feet altitude. Descent altitude 4000 feet, American 9718. Uh, good evening, Prague approach, simply 7742 at flight level 5000 going towards Baltu. Play 7742, Praha Radar, hello, identified. Uh, climb flight level 160, proceed direct uh, Rapet. Find flight level 160 and fly to Rapet, direct, simply I need to sort out something with my X-Plane because I don't understand why it's knocking me out so much. Okay, we need to fly direct somewhere. No idea where. Let's pop this out. Wrap at. Uh, insert. There you go. We're going direct anyways. I feel like this is steep. Turn left heading 270 degrees and clear Alice approach on 24, American 9718. At France 257, descent to flight level 70. Flight level 70, uh, Yeah, I'm really not getting it. The only thing I can think of is the active sky. Okay, let's just turn that off for a minute. Let's see, is that going to help me? This has been going on since the other day. So I'm not sure what the issue is. American 9718 established. Uh, you're back on track. <laughs> uh, I was flying out of right hand window, sorted now. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're sorted. Simply 7742, contact Praha on frequency 120, December 27. Goodbye. Contact Bravo 120, decimal 270, simply 7742. American Man 718, contact Taruzinia Tower, 134 decimal 55, goodbye. 134 decimal 55, American 9718, goodnight. 
Advance 257, descent altitude 5,000 feet, dimension 993. 5,000 feet, to the Advance 257. Simply 7742, good evening. Uh, climbing to flight level 160, heading to a rapid. Simply 7742, Praha radar identified. Hello, from flight level 280. Climb to flight level 280, simply 7742. Let's keep on climbing. One three nine four, proceed direct to Papa on five three one. Ah, second direct, please. Look on three nine four. One three nine four, proceed direct to Papa on five three one. Can I get a shout out for Santa again? I'm hoping he might visit. <laughs> Had the same issue with X-Plane. Couldn't get above 200 frames. That day my video drives ended up reinstalling X-Plane. All good now. Yeah. I've noticed this on the last three flights now that for some reason X-Plane is just not happy and I'm not entirely sure why because um, I used to get great great um, frames and stuff so yeah I'm, I'm really puzzled maybe it is time for a reinstall which is I must admit something I don't particularly like doing because there's always so much stuff to download but uh, you know we'll do whatever we have to do I suppose I'll have a look after this stream I've taken uh, the cloudscapes off. I don't know if that's causing me much issue. It shouldn't do, but who knows. Um, but yeah, a bit weird. bit weird. Hey, Adam. Uh, good evening. This is the next of Big Step. I think like a minute 358. Don't please say I think we're getting some decent crosswinds here too. Uh, Speedbird 884, contact Munich radar, frequency 133, decimal 6, goodbye. You know, I've got a beast of a graphics card, so that's not that. That's what, that's what I just don't get sometimes. Okay. Contact unit radar, speedbird 884. Speedbird 884, contact unit 133.6. 133.6, speedbird 884. 133.4, contact for Harida, frequency 127.5, 75, 5. 25 left, I think we might be coming in at. Yeah, that's for the ILS that we uh, might need. I've got an RTX 2080. 12 gigabyte VRAM, 32 gigabyte RAM, overclocked CPU. Like my system's a beast. And I never had issues before. Like this is something that happened, started happening last week. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to have a good look. We'll have to have a good look. I think it's going to disconnect me again. 
Ah, oh, why? Yeah, I think it's time for a full install. Sorry guys, I was so frustrated, <laughs> that's all I make. Did you take off or did you quit? Uh, Beast, the paint job looks fine. I don't think there's much you need to tidy up, apart from these blue winglets here. They need to go red. That's like the only thing I've found. Uh, contact Munich at 133.6, uh, good night. Good evening, Munich. Simply 7742, climbing to flight level 280, uh, heading to Rapet. Simply 7742, good evening. Identified climb to flight level 300. Climb to flight level 300, simply 7742. Smart 74 Whiskey, contact Braha 120, decimal 275. Bye bye. Okay, the anti-eyes can come off at this stage. Lufthansa 2076, contact München Radar, 133, decimal 225, bye bye. Lufthansa 2076, contact Munich Radar, 133.25, bye, thanks. Negative, 133, decimal 225. 133 decimal 225, uh, Lufthansa 2076, thanks. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Manada. Schönen guten Abend, Lufthansa 911. Yeah, this is doing my head in. Identified. Proceed direct Narus. Direct Narus, Lufthansa 911, Narus. Yeah, I saw you're getting quite mad with it. <laughs> hey, look, these things happen. These things happen. I'm having my own issues with my own X-Plane. I like... The only thing I can really take away is Active Sky, but like I've not had a problem for weeks and weeks and weeks. And the last two weeks now, I just can't seem to get over 20 frames. Now, I don't know, is it because I've gone up to Windows 11 and it's not happy with something? Um, maybe my graphics card needs an update. I can't remember the last time I did an update on the driver. So I'll do that. I find it silly, disconnected for F FP. Yeah, it's because you're not running in real time, they say, if you're not for, for them. But look, I'll be literally running on like 19, you watch, 18. This is terrible. But the thing is, my graphics card's not even... Lufthansa 4, Whiskey Yankee, proceed direct V6. Victor Echo Sierra India X-Ray. Okay, that's going to disconnect us. I'm going to turn down the graphic settings and see, can we just get a couple more frames for today's flight? And then I'll have a look. He thinks I did something to him and the tower wouldn't give me clearance. <laughs> um, the only thing I didn't hear you do, you didn't, when he gave you the clearance the first time, I didn't hear you um, read back his clearance. But that was the only thing. We'll go to a quieter airport next time. So yeah, I'm just turning down the graphic settings just to see, can I just get enough frames for today's flight and then I'm going to look at everything, my graphics card drivers and all the other bits and pieces I'm using, see if I can just 
change things because I don't know why it's performing so poorly. It's actually since I've gone to Windows 11. Yeah, they hear the, they, they hear the Yankee voice and they're like, ah, nah, screw him. <laughs> uh, we're okay, we're okay. Like I said, we'll, we'll try this. If this works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All I want is enough frames to get through today's flight and I'll, I'll work it out. That's all we want. I didn't hear the clearance. He was mad because I didn't hear it. My hair stinks too. <laughs> well, I just hope that this is going to load back in. It's now not responding. I hope I haven't just ruined that by doing what I just done. On next plane, do your thing. I do apologize if I just ruined tonight's stream. Uh, look at the NVIDIA control panel as well. There's a couple of important settings. Like what, Anthony? Talk to me, because I'm not very good at that stuff. Okay, let's reconnect. Turn down the graphical settings a bit just for today's flight. File our flight plan. You'd think the frames would be a little bit better, wouldn't you? Jesus, even that didn't fix it. Lufthansa 4 with Key Yankee, descent flight level 270. Level 270, Lufthansa 4 with Key Yankee. Okay, I'm not flying on the network for the rest of tonight. I, I can't handle it. Uh, but I still carry on the flight, but we're just going to do it via ourselves. Because, um,. There might be a driver's update or something that I've not seen. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, where the hell's my flight plan? Okay, EBBR. We should be coming on the Batty 5 Alpha. Uh, so Ryan E, I do apologize that I've come off. Uh, but yeah, I, I couldn't handle it anymore. ILS25 left. Let's insert that. Make sure there's no discons. Nope. Flight plan looks okay, doesn't it? Happy days. But yeah, I, 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 I couldn't do that. That crap. We'll just enjoy our flight. Is the GPU taxed? Not at all. Twenty-seven percent, thirty-six percent. It's not even taxed. It's not even. It's not even flexing. I've I updated the driver two nights ago. I haven't updated my driver in maybe two weeks. It, it normally pops up and tells me driver update when I turn on the PC, and I didn't. I didn't see anything. Anyways, I don't think I did. I turned down the settings and it hasn't helped. Like I said, it's not even taxing even my CPU or GPU. Really strange. What speed are we doing here? Mac, yeah, that's good. All is good.
Like I said, I, I was running Vulkan, but Vulkan wasn't working very well with Windows 11. It was crashing with airliners. I turned it off, so I'm using OpenGL. But this aircraft is never, never being that bad on frames. Like even yesterday's flight, that's when I noticed that there was an issue. Like even the flight fact I've been able to fly on Vatsim, but yesterday could not fly it on Monday. Sorry, I really do love this aircraft. I don't know why more of you guys don't love it. It is beautiful. Explains had a lot of issues lately. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I don't get it. Before it was running, there was a sweet spot there about a month or two months ago. There was an absolute sweet spot. It was running absolutely bang on. But yeah, I've noticed it's updating every day at the moment as well. I know they're very small updates, but I've noticed on Steam every morning now it's updating. Anyways, let's go to the live map. Let's see where everybody is. Um, Steven is nearly uh, going through top of the scent. Uh, myself, I'm 100 miles in. Not doing too bad. Uh, Chabs is a little bit ahead of me, 169. Anthony uh, didn't take off. He's on taxi, it says. I don't, don't know if you're flying still or not. But yeah, nothing's even being taxed. It's not even flexing my system. Uh, F1 Racer Dan, evening. Do you like the new paint job on the old Beluga? You put it up to uh, the fleet standard. X paint is. Do you mean aging? Um, yeah, but it was running really well before. Like I said, there's just been there's been something that it's just not running well with. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm not using that many add-ons or anything either. Iron Beast, are you still watching the stream? Is this in 4K or 2K? The paint job. Yeah, maybe there's some DLCs that need updating. There's something not right. There's just... I don't know what it is. Can't quite put my finger on it. I'm going to message Beast quickly. It is really nice, isn't it? I'm loving the new, uh, the new repaint. The only thing I added recently is enhanced skyscrapes. But that hasn't been causing me problems. I've had that since the deck came out. And that wasn't causing me any problems. I mean, this is just not getting good FPS. Really odd. Sent the screenshots. x has been weird the last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's just... Big D finally got off the ground. <laughs> well, at least you're up. I didn't know if you were still flying or not. It says you're boarding still. I think we've all had a few issues this evening.
Take, uh, talking of failure, we had a PFD display fail at 24,000 feet today. What did you do? Did you just keep flying? I suppose if there's only one, you can fly the other, can't you? Uh, Anthony, you're not online. You could have flown offline. I'm flying offline now. I gave up the online because of the, the crap it was giving me. Annoyingly. Even X player. Yeah, it must be my graphics card. The, the drivers must be wrong. I don't know. Well, IMB says these all in 4K. I'll get them to put it down to 2K to see does it make any difference. But yeah, little little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Big D is on route. Yep, I see you now. You've come up. You're not miles behind us. Flying over Germany. Uh, the car, uh, the, the cream cheese god. Wow, that's a lot of words to say. The cargo on board today, uh, we have a lovely helicopter heading to uh, Brussels. This happened to me, and guess what? It just righted itself one day before I was going to shell out three grand for a new, uh, the new card, I'd say. Is that VatSim's issues with your FPS? Maybe VatSim needs to be optimized. VatSim's turned off, and I'm still having FPS issues. Like I said, it's X Plane. Something's not been right this week. I don't know what it is. Yeah, we had a display unit fail on the captain's side. There wasn't luck, fine, luckily, but yeah, it goes to show it happens to us all. Yeah, look, things happen. It's just easier now to fly offline. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know why. None of my planes are getting, even the Tolis wasn't getting FPS, and that gets normally 70 to 80 FPS, so there's been huge, huge things. I've asked Iron Beast as well to put it down to uh, 2K. Just see if that helps a little bit instead of 4K. Yeah, absolutely painful. Could be a problem with vPilot and Windows 11, do you think? Yeah, the, the file sizes aren't big, but I just don't know, does it make a difference once it's in-game? I don't think it is vPilot, because vPilot I've now turned off, and I'm still having problems. Every time I fly through clouds, it would throw me out of that sim to this day. I don't know what was causing it. Yeah. Oh, didn't it? Maybe Austin's way of making us buy X-Plane 12 when it comes out. It, it could be because X-Plane's updated every day. Maybe they're starting... You know, that's what they're doing with phones. Apple admitted it. Like, phones that were out of generations, they were slowing down on purpose. So you brought a new phone. I hope they're not doing that to X-Plane. It'd be a big shame. And they've not even given us a date for X-Plane 12 yet. But whatever they've done or tweaked or whatever it is, I'm having issues.
I don't know why it has us flying so slow as well. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Like I said, after this, I'll have a little bit of a, a nose around and see what the, uh, what if. I've also, asked, like I said, I've asked Iron to change some of the FPS heavy planes, like there'll be the Dash 8, the new one, this apparently, um, Flight Factor A320, or just if we put them down to 2K and see does it make a difference? Uh, the back of fly, I'm slow for Estonia. Uh, so you'll be EVM before me, only just. Inside, my good friend, um, when you play on G2, you should challenge yourself to complete all the routes without any map help or navigation, because that's what I did. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I do so much other stuff, I I wouldn't be able to do it. And uh, my name is Brian Evans, uh, I am actually am a driver in real life, so I know what it's like to learn routes. <laughs> Adrian Martinez, Tolis is always good with FPS, but I've noticed even my Tolis the other day, we flew the A321, that's when I started noticing the problems. I'd usually get 70 FPS and I was getting 26. That's when I know that that's when I first noticed there was a problem. But Tolis, I don't think the Tolis liveries need to be put down to 2K. What 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 we might do is just make all liveries in 2K from now on, Beast, if you're still watching. I don't know if you are watching. I'm thinking maybe that's just what we do. I am loving the livery. It's either an update or something for an add-on. Yeah. I, do, I think there, there's definitely something just not happy. and I, I wish it told you what. You know what I mean? I'm Beast. Yep, can do. Yeah, so if you just start making them in 2K, Beast, I think that we'll just see how we go. And like I said, if you're already there and you want to write a list, uh, the Beluga down to 2K. Flight Factor A320 down to 2K, and the, the Q4XP dash you did for me, can you um, put that down to 2K as well? Because that's got FPS issues big time. Yeah, believe me, I drove from Oxford Station to Streatham Station without any help, but I was trying to think. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I used to drive in London, but yeah. Got enough to do with trying to remember how to even start bloody planes these days, let alone buses. Also, um, Iron, can you also put the SSG 747 passenger and cargo down to 2K as well? I can't imagine that being the problem, but... If you put those planes down to 2K, and I'm going to change some settings, I'll update my driver's card, and when I fly on Monday next... Uh, we'll see does it fix anything So I should be getting more than 18 FPS with the system that I have here something's not right Something does not like something else <laughs> Cheers mate Like I said if it doesn't take you too long and then the 747 as well uh, 737 
the 737 that you're going to do today make sure you do that in 2k as well just in case this a340 is climbing at max 0.80 at 2000 <laughs> jesus that's climbing is that the jar one or is that the uh the tolis one jesus that is some beast for climbing Uh, so the next time when I apply for a job at Bus Aaron and then you meet me at Galway Bus Station and try and help me to know all the roads to finish my shift, ah, uh, you'll be fine. The uh, the routes in Galway are nice and easy. Ryan E's 130. Uh, uh, Ryan, yeah, I did did apologise. So basically, there's something not right with my X plane. Um, I've noticed this the last week. None of my planes seem to be getting FPS. So. There's an add-on or something that's out of date. I need to find out. So after the stream, I'm going to re-download all my add-ons and see if that fixes it. So yeah, I got booted too many times and I just couldn't be bothered to keep going tonight. I'll send them as an extra 2K paint option so you can test both in game. Yeah, cheers, mate. That'd be good. Joshma. <laughs> I actually think the sounds in the jar are better than the Tolis, though. But obviously, the Tolis is... A nice aircraft inside. I actually like the Jai 340. I might fly it this week actually. Uh, but yeah, Ryan, sorry. We'll be flying again on Monday if you want to fly with us on Monday. Yeah, I, I do apologize. Like I said, it's just something's not, not well. I don't know what it is. I'm going to take all my add ons out and I'm going to update every single one of them. And see, does that fix my issue? Because, uh, you know, my CPU and GPU are not even, they're not even warming up here. They're barely spinning. And I can't even get bloody FPS. And I even downgraded my settings. So, yeah, something's not right. Bloody annoying, though. But, Ryan, you're always welcome to fly with us. When we fly, we usually fly Mondays and Wednesdays if you want to fly with us on Vatson. You don't have to fly for the VA, you know, you just fly along with us, we know you're there. I assume that you fly for um, VA, I assume. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, Steve's on final approach. Chabs is... Uh, he's got about 100 nautical miles to go. Uh, Big D is 100 miles into his flight. I'm about halfway into mine. But I was going the wrong speed, so now we should pick it up a bit now. Uh, Brussels has gone offline anyways. Yeah, that's the thing. I, what I always try and do, Ryan, is wherever we depart from has ATC. And then it's just the fingers crossed that when we get to the other side that it's still there. But I do try, but yeah, you know what it's like. But as long as like we start with ATC, then I'm, I'm okay with that. That's how I kind of pick my flights. I just look around and see who's online, where haven't I flown from in a while, try and change it up. Um, the Jai 340 is so badly modeled and it's got granny seats in first class. I didn't say the inside was nice. I didn't say that. I said the sounds were better. <laughs> I actually don't mind the Jai 340. I think for Jar, I think it's one of their better planes that they've made. So yeah, Ryan, that's that's just how I pick my flights. We just try and get someone for departure at least, as long as there's an approach. I always try and make sure approach is on. At least we'll get full ATC going out of the airport. And then after that, it's just uh, hope.
Any of you in the chat play Scum? We're thinking about starting a multiplayer server very soon. That might take over Sunday night streams. That interests anybody? We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Actually, to be honest with you, since the jar updated the A340 and the A330, they've both been a lot better. I'm not saying they're perfect aircraft, but they're, they're flyable now. I think the problem with jar, the biggest problem with jar is is when you have issues, they, they never, ever, ever help. <laughs> I remember when I was having issues with the ground handling, and I couldn't get the repaint to bloody work, and I pulled about 25 tickets, I emailed everybody that I could find an address for, could not get nothing what are the player number limits for scum you can have any limit but what we're going to do is start off with 10 beast 10 of us survival um, I'm going to make a scum part in the server after this fight as well uh, we're going to discuss how we want to play it I've got a couple of ideas which I think could be quite fun that will incorporate player versus player as well as working together but maybe if we pick like a certain couple of squares in the map if we're all in there it's it's anyone's go um, but everywhere else we can be like, you know, work as a team. So anywhere there might be like big loot. Uh, John Lambert, Scum. Have you never heard of Scum? I did a video on it yesterday. I did my first video, um, survival video on single player. We're thinking about turning it into a multiplayer. So John, if you look into my videos there and look for the Scum that I did, I think it was yesterday. Um, see what you think. And come join the Discord if you're not there. Well, if you're not already there, I don't know. I can never remember. And um, we're going to discuss how we're going to play it. We want to do some rules. I think we got a good 10 of us. Because obviously if I make videos and stream it, um, you guys all know I am. So we can't do player versus player all the time. Otherwise I'll be killed all the time. I just know when I go last night. I haven't seen the video yet. Yeah, it went well. We, we smashed out a couple of uh, missions. Next Tuesday we're going to finish that map and then we're going to move to Alaska the week after so we've got some logging missions to do next week to finish up and that's it yeah we're going to keep loot vanilla I, I kind of don't want any mods in the game at the moment I think we should play vanilla because quite a few of us are only new to it people like you Adrian who's very good at it you know you'll slaughter all of us um, but yeah last night Berko yeah we did all right I, I, I got stuck a lot to start with uh, we knocked out a few missions so we've got one more week on Tuesday on the original map, and then we'll be moving to Alaska the week after. Yeah, so that's that's the plan anyways. Be funny to see you get stream sniped by your own group. Uh, you can do dead matches in between. So what I was thinking, like you know, now that they have the new island, or say where anywhere there's like big loot, so like the airport, in that whole square of the airport, if we're in that square, it's all versus all. In that one square, now we'd all have to be online at the same time. So you, the chances are, you won't find anyone else in there. But maybe like the island as well, we'll do. Um, if you're on that island, it's all, all for all or something like that. Just so it adds a little bit of fun to the map. Because uh, there's nothing worse than being killed. Because I tried to record the second episode of Scum this morning. Um, I got to the... There's like a cargo drop for loot. Uh, as I got there, the timer went and it blew up just as I got there and killed my man. So I have to start my survival series after episode one again already. Vanilla you know is any way to go with survival games, really. Otherwise, mods, it's just a superhero game. Like my 7 dot. Yeah, that's it. So, we'll, we'll keep it vanilla. If we go into certain areas, not many. Like, the map is huge. So, like, we're talking, like, small areas. We'll, we'll agree on a couple. And if we're all in there trying to get stuff, or, you're, you know, that's the way it needs to go, I think. I think it'd be good fun. Like I said, I will make something in the server after this, so we can all talk. It's coming as a PC demanding game. Yeah, I noticed when I was recording that it, the fans were blowing. That's for sure.
But then I can make some videos on it. Anyone that's in there um, can make videos. And like I said, as long as you don't camp in that area, otherwise you'll get killed. We can't kill each other. Because like I said, anyone will watch my, my videos. Because I won't just stream it. I'll probably record videos too. And uh, obviously I don't want to be wiped out every time I reload into the game because you guys think you're funny. I suppose I could just start the stream not showing you where I am, but it just depends, I suppose. I think the game is more <laughs> PvE than PvP. Yeah, I think so too. I think it'd be a bit of fun in like certain areas, just just for a laugh. So if you know we're both online at the same time or, and we all slip into it, it'd be a bit of fun trying to kill each other. <laughs> like I said, we'd, we'll, we'll, what we'll do, we'll just set aside a couple of rules that we're all happy with. Like I said, no mods, blah de blah de blah, and uh, we'll go from there really. Oh crap, I went through the top of the scent. Yeah, just need to have a look at the chart. Uh, we need to be down at 3,000. Okay.
Yeah, we could do some sort of trading, because like I said, some people will get more arrows in the game than others. Uh, so if someone has a couple of guns, we could trade it for stuff. We all might want to build our own little houses and stuff as well, our own little bases. Okay, so we are on descent. By Batty, we need to be at 14,000, so we're going to be there miles before. Oh, this used to have Avitab. Obviously, it doesn't. Okay, so if I remember, we just have to click on here and we'll get our stuff for landing. 
Okay, so preference is one, two, three, approach at one, two, eight. Uh, flaps and slats. Okay, that's fine. Flaps 30, 40. All should be good. <laughs> Just send it in hard. <laughs> yeah, well, we might not have much choice. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a soft landing with the blue girl. Not yet, anyways. Uh, Big D, do you not play a bit of scum? You can imagine that's right up your alley. Okay, we're in ice and frequency range again, so we'll put on the icing for the engines. We're going to be closing fuel EFB when landing 0 0.8. Whew. Well, I'm nearly out in my center tanks, but yeah, I'm going to have plenty of fuel. It's okay once you start descending. Okay, so then once we get to Batty, uh, we need to drop down to 3000 by CF2LY, and then it's going to bring us in for hopefully a lovely ILS landing. You say, who knows? Uh, had a heavy landing in the A38 Monday, weather-wise was terrible. Yeah, weather's not been too great this side of the uh, the world either, to be honest with you. Can't even find my keys. I have no idea how this landing will go. Okay, we're powering up again anyways. Okay, we're just below the 10,000 feet, so we are now going to throw our landing lights back on here. Everything else is fine. Uh, I could do it finding out my Q and H, eh? Where's Active Sky? Okay, Q and H currently is 997.
There we go. Might as well get that changed in now. Okay, so 997. To be fair, Brett, I have horrible landings uh, on a weekly basis. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm hoping that the new United States Coast to Coast Tour will be up uh, by the weekend. It's been on my to-do list now for a little while. Uh, you weren't really into it. Big deal. I thought it would be something you might be into. Well, we're going to try and set up a uh, multiplayer server anyways. I've been averaging 230-ish uh, with my landing rates. Nice. Uh, I've been averaging like 400 and something. <laughs> uh, John, hello, mate. Good evening. How are you? Used to play Rust until it got toxic and they keep adding stuff that isn't really needed. Yeah, someone was saying about going into Rust instead of uh, Scum. That's why we're going to have our own server that's going to be private to us. Uh, we'll make up our own rules. No mods and all that kind of stuff so it doesn't get too silly. Uh, be more of a friendly kind of uh, server. That's the idea anyways. John, doing good. Nice, mate. Good to hit. We're not doing so good. My uh, X-Plane's not running very well. I'm not sure if it's uh, some of my add-ons might be needing updating or something. It's not running too, too healthy today. I had a good laugh just before I joined, I saw a super funny video. Nice. What did you see?
Uh, no online toxicity when you get public service. Yeah, that's what I mean. If we we're gonna do it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it anywhere else other than um, doing our own private one. Because yeah, I know how some of these servers can be. Like this wrong sending now, 100 miles out, start three tons. <laughs> uh, so the song of the rainbow, love those. Some really low notes, fast measure the face of the dude makes. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's not the stream lagging, it's the game, if anyone's wondering. It's a bit brutal at the moment. Have you run the X-Plane updater that may find the problem? Uh, well, it automatically updates. I did notice it updated yesterday. Uh, Kevin, I'll open the tower for you. Kevin, don't worry about it because um, something's wrong with my X-Plane, mate. The, I can't get over 20 FPS. I don't know what's going on with the blue guns. I think I've got an add-on or something out of date or my graphics card needs updating or Windows 11 has screwed it. I'm not sure. Uh, so don't worry about opening a tower for me. Even though, that, even though that would have been awesome. Yeah, I just don't know what's going on, mate. I really just don't know what's going on. Vulcan's crashing. OpenGL's not doing anything. I'm not getting any... Even all my flights this week, I've had FPS problems. So there's definitely an add-on or something broken. I need to probably pull my whole X-plane apart and resort it out, I think. Frustrating. Uh, but somebody did send me some NVIDIA settings as well. I'll never mess with them, and that could be some issues. So, well, like I said, I'm going to, after this, I'm going to have a good play around and, and see if I can work out what the problem is. Because yeah, it's really, really annoying. Okay, let's see how everyone else has been doing. Everyone must be landed by now. Uh, everyone's landed but me and uh, Big D. Oh, I can't even see any landing rates. Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, Stephen got a nice 184. That's nice. Uh, Chabs did not file his, so he wasn't obviously happy with his. <laughs> Has he landed? He's definitely landed. I also like the way that Big D... G Big D's caught up with me. How the hell did you catch up with me? Are you flying a rocket or what? You've actually overtaken me now.
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check everything because something's something's not good. Shamefully. Benny Wood, hello Mr. Captain, how are you my friend? Uh, John, no. I, um, I went past the top of descent marker and this doesn't bring you down like a normal Airbus because it thinks it's an A300. Uh, we are about to drop down again now. Just as we pass Batty, we are dropping down to 3,000 feet. We need to be at 3,000 by CSY or whatever it is, but yeah, it's... Um, we were, we were cruising at 30,000 feet. I was on VATSIM, but because of my X-plane having issues. So yeah, we're cruising at 10,000 feet right now. We're coming down in a second. Uh, you're good 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 to hear that you're good you joining the event on friday i was just back from the airport i saw you're flying to brussels yeah yeah like i said I, my explain not running too well on main streets so i don't know what yours is like you haven't had any issues the last few days have you but like the bluger i can't even get 15 fps none of my planes all week i haven't been able to get any fps i don't know what it is i can only assume that a plug-in has gone wrong or needs updating or something God bloody knows. what it is then okay we'll set the oil brake to low oh we can't do that until the wheels are out on this one can we I had a graphics card update when was that update I bet you that's what it is. What what graphics card have you got? Are you on Ryzen or Nvidia?
Uh, Big D's in the A320. <laughs> yeah, you're going a lot faster than me. You're going to be down before me. Um, it's always good to run it once a week just to make sure files are there. Are you, are you meaning uh, verifying the files? I think it was Monday. Okay, well, I haven't updated mine in two weeks, so maybe that's what's causing me some issues then. Would that really cause me this much of an issue, though? Would it really? I don't know. But this Beluga is pretty nice now. I love the livery. This is one nice whale. Uh, Glenn, no worries, mate. Are you still playing that game later? I'm probably about five minutes before I'm down. You, you'll probably be turning it off by the time I get to you. It was pretty poor. The version I just sent through uh, realigned the website text. Looks better. Okay, cheers, mate. I'll send it out to everybody that wants it tomorrow, then I'll have a good look. And, uh, yeah. You got it in 2K and 4K. Okay, down to 3,000 feet. Uh, that's the plan. <laughs> uh, Jamie, nice plane. Yeah, it's, uh, Iron Beast has just done the new repaint. Had to go around to Brussels Tower, came on last minute on finals, and the weather went berserk, and he couldn't hear anyone, so he had to restart. So currently on finals. Main Streets, was that you that just came online into the tower? Because, yeah, there is uh, Ryan is still flying on Vatsim. Was it you that came online? So that's the only good thing if we fly into Brussels late and Main Streets doesn't fly with us. He, he, he can always jump in. <laughs> Tried to load scenery and it looked very important files so it doesn't hurt to check. Yeah, I'll have to have a little look myself. I remember the last time I verified my files. Okay, let's remember our V speeds. 122, approach at 127. Main Street said it is you. <laughs> Poor Ryan. <laughs> is the weather pretty poor in um, Brussels right now? Okay, make sure our ILS frequency is in. Involved with the course 210, 39. Uh, 
at 997. Okay, a couple of checks here. Landing lights are on, lights are checked. Anti-ice is still on as we're going through the clouds. Uh, we could arm the speed brake here at this stage. Everything's looking okay. We don't need to reduce any speed yet. I'm still over the bloody Baltic Sea. It'll be at midnight before I land. God. <laughs> Becca, you don't fly on the VA, do you? No, you're not flying. Uh, Big D, though, is on final approach. Okay, and the ice can go off. Apple's over here somewhere. Uh, Ryan, I think he's flying for BA. I think he flies for BA. But he will tag along some of our flights with us main streets, which is nice. It's always good to have a few more flying with us. Doesn't matter what who they fly with, really. Okay, let's uh, turn on the ILS. Let's start bringing down our speed a bit. One, two, two. Okay, flaps are set to full. Gear down. Runways over here, quite windy. One five six, <laughs> get real. I think the the lowest I've ever had the beluga was about two hundred and twenty, so I'd be very surprised. But I like your optimism. Okay, low uh, brake should be okay. 
Two diamonds are coming down now. The flying tumor. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to flick on the landing button. Two eighty. I reckon about 350 for the first day of the month. Where are we landing? Uh, we're just coming into Brussels Airport now. D just died. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that bad, was it? Game is paused. It must have been that bad. One two two. Can't believe one two two is the speed. That seems so slow, doesn't it? Have a nice landing, cheers, Main Streets. Hopefully, we'll see you at the next flight on Monday. Okay, last check. Auto brake set. Check. Spoilers armed. Reverses, I think, are a key to a key. I have no idea right now. Uh, lights are good. Everything is good. Feels like fuel on board still. Uh, we got about four tons. No stream tomorrow, guys. Uh, then we'll be back on Friday with a CCS OMSI 2 event uh, on uh, Smart and Extension. That's the plan. Okay, we want to go all the way down. The cargo parking is around the other side of the airport. But what we'll do, we'll just go all the way to the end, come off, and we'll park there. Wind is at 260, 6 knots, runway 25, cleared to land. Well, hopefully we're cleared to land. We'll find out what's going to happen in a second. Okay, we have control of the beast. I wonder if she floats. in very low.
Okay, reverse thrusters are on. Okay, under 80 knots. Retracting flaps and slats. Like I said, we're going to come off right at the end of this runway. Okay, we might as well just come off here, aren't we? Yeah, I took all the landing stuff though. <laughs> okay, let's throw on all these lights quickly. Nine, six. Is that what you got, Big D? That's not that bad. That's my average. If I literally got a 189 here, it's probably one of my best landings ever in the Beluga. Oh, did I get 496? Uh, look, now you make me go off my taxi. Okay, we're just going to park up here for this evening. Normally, I'd go to the cargo area and do it properly. But it's already half gone wrong. I am going to fly this in a bit more. Now it's got this new repaint. I'm very happy with it. Okay, what we're going to do is watch the replay first and then we'll get the cargo out. Otherwise, the lander and stuff comes with you when you do the replay. So just quick replay. We'll see how we got on. Engine's off. Oh, I did get that, did I? Bloody hell. That was my best landing in the blue go. I'm going to file that for a change. Might even get on the leaderboard for a few days. Okay, so we're just going to go into the replay mode quickly. Let's have a look at this landing. I don't know why the camera would be funny, they wouldn't let me go up. And you can see the float. Came in, long flare, engines turn off now. 
bomb. Not even a bit of smoke. No bounce. Yeah, it was a pretty smooth landing for myself for a change. Okay, very quickly we are just going to open up so you can see the cargo come out. That's what everyone wants to see. <laughs> yeah, I'll fly as a passenger, Brett, no problem. But Beast, this is what I want you to look at eventually is new cargoes to put in here. Because it only comes with like four, which is a bit a bit sad really. And I'm surprised they've never made a few more. Even if it's just boxes or stuff or whatever, it could be anything, you know. Maybe if we could get like an ETS2 truck or American Truck Simulator truck, put it on there. We could put a truck in there. That'd be pretty cool. Or, um, I don't know, trains or... Anything really, I suppose. Buses. I mean, it doesn't have to be fully on brilliant models or anything but look it's so empty in there it can still takes some more stuff yeah that'd be it even if you get an american truck and an english truck if i fly this in america i can take american trucks around so imagine like you know you finished at a certain point and you wanted to go back to vegas i could take it via our plane back to vegas say from idaho like, even though you've reset it in the game, I could fly it. How cool would that be? Any Christmas liveries? You're desperate, aren't you? We might do one Christmas livery on something. Still driving up. <laughs> and Ryan, I do apologize, like said, that it didn't work out for us tonight. I know it's the first time you flew with us. But hopefully we'll see you next Monday or Wednesday. Main Streets will be back next week as well. Yeah, we'll maybe just pick a generic plane, like we'll do the Microsoft Flight Simulator A320 and maybe we'll do like, I don't know, the A321 or the A319. Merry Christmas. But the Beluga is a lovely aircraft to fly. Yeah, 
Here it comes. Yeah, the fly by wire three to NX will get will get done probably. And like I said, one for X plane. We'll get one for each flight simulator painted for Christmas maybe. Anyways, guys, look, we're going to leave it there for this evening. No stream tomorrow. We'll be back Friday for a CCS event. Hopefully, I'll see some of you for that. Uh, Ryan, like I said, we fly every Monday and Wednesday on VATSIM. You're more than welcome to join us. You don't have to join the VA. You can carry on flying whatever you want to fly. Um, but if you want to fly with a group of people, like I said, you're always more than welcome to come join us. They always do a VATSIM event to Lapland, do they? I'll have to have a look. Maybe we'll do an event for Christmas special or something. We'll, we'll see. Um, but thank you to obviously Berker Flyer, Brett, Main Streets, Ryan, I'm Beast, uh, da -da 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 -da, Adrian Martinez, of course, Big D. Not bad for your first landing, 496. That's like I said, that's my average. Uh, Jamie Demon, thank you for popping in. Let's go up to try and find more people here. Uh, John Zink was around, Glenn Bixley, Benny Wood. Thank you all very much for everyone that takes part, comes in, takes part in the flights online and offline. Thank you very, very much. And uh, I'd love myself, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.